So uh, I'm going to show you guys how I solve this problem uh, called plate. This is like a second uh, problem from uh, round A 2020 Google Kickstart coding challenge. So I'm going to put like the like the, this problem a description in the video like in the video description. So the problem is uh, Dr. Patel has n stacks of plates. So you have maybe one stack, two stack, or three stack. Uh, each stack uh, contains k plates. So you could imagine like like th let's say three stack. So like the, maybe like first stack contain uh, four plates. And and uh, for this problem, we know that all of the stack have to contain like the same amount of uh, plates. And each stack contain k plates right here. So if like the first stack contain like four plates, the other the rest must contain uh, four plates as well. Each plate uh, have a positive beauty value, so each plate have like a like certain value assigned to it, design how beautiful it look. Doctor Patel would like to exact to take exactly p plates to use for dinner tonight. So the, this is like the requirement. Um, if he would like to take a plate in a stack, he must also take all of the plates above it in that stack as well. So imagine that uh, we have, um, let's say that we have like um, three stack and uh, each stack can, uh, has um, five plates. So let's say that we want to reach out to like the the second plate like on the top on the first stack. So we need to take like the top uh, plate as well as the, the one that we want. So we need to t take whatever on top of it. Uh, so the goal is we need to help Dr. Patel to pick the P plates that would maximize the total sum of beauty value. And then we can like look at the example. Okay, so let's take a look at the second example. So for second example, we have um, N, K, and P, right? So for the value of N is we have uh, N is equal to 3 and uh, k is equal to 2 and p is equal to 3 so n is the number of stacks and then k is the number of uh, plates per stack and then uh, p is the number of needed plates So we know that um, we have, um, let's see, so we have, so since since we know that we have like three stacks, so those three stacks are, so we have 80, and 80, and then we have uh, 15, and 50, and then um, we have, uh, 20 and 10 so this is like stack 1 stack 2 and stack 3 right so the same idea so in order like to solve this problem we need to think about uh, like generate all of the possible uh, cases to fulfill like the three plates that we need so initially we start with uh, the goal is to fill up three plates Right? And the goal is to maximize the value of the plates and this uh, like the value. And so initially we, we start with three and then we look at a uh, stack on like stack one, plate one. So uh, f so we look at by like uh, each stack level. So stack one, uh, we could, there's like how many possible options? So we could pick zero from stack one. So if we pick zero from stack one, it means that we still have uh, three more left, three more plate left to pick. And if we pick just, uh, let's say one, we will have uh, three minus one is two. So we need to pick two more. And if we pick two, it means that we still need to pick one more plate. 
but the thing is, uh, we know that each stack have only like two plates right here. We have only like two plates, right? So we cannot pick like three plates from stack one. So this is wrong. So we can just ignore this one. So this is wrong. Don't need. We need to write our code to consider this uh, portion right here. And then if we look at uh, stack level two. So on stack level two right here is um, so since uh, we need to fulfill like three plates right here, so there's like th uh, three options as well. So on stack two, we pick nothing from stack two, and then it means that we still need to fill out like three more, and then we have this. So we pick one, and then we still have two left, and then. If we pick uh, two, we have one left, and we cannot pick uh, three. So this is wrong, just like like here. And then for this one, two, right? So since we have two plates left, we can either pick nothing or for stack two. So if we pick nothing, we still need to fulfill like two more plates. If we decide to pick just uh, one, we need to think about um, to f how to fill the last one. And if we pick two, we have like zero. This is like done. We stop here. So, and for this one, since we only need to fill out one, so the two scenario, so we just uh, pick like zero plates. So pick the old plate from uh, stack two. So we still have one to consider. And in this case, if we pick one from a uh, stack two, so this is zero. So this is nine as well. And then now we have a uh, stack three. So stack three. So stack three, we need to consider about um, the scenario that we pick zero from stack three. So that we have three remaining. And then the scenario that we pick just one plate from stack three. Uh, so that would be two. Then uh, if we pick up two, we still have uh, how many left? Uh, one left. And then similarity with uh, this one right here. So we either pick uh, zero, and then we need to count. Uh, what is the rest? Of so we pick two. We need to count um, two for stack three, or we pick. Uh, or we pick uh, just one we need to consider one more right here uh, we pick uh, two and then zero and this is done for this one uh, we can either do um, zero so it means that we need to pick one from stack three or we can just pick one and we pick nothing from stack three. And now stack three, right, right here. So we cannot. So stack three, we need to pick all three, right? Because we don't have like stack four. Like there's no stack four, so we have to pick all three. But we have only two plates, so we can only pick up to like two plates only so this is invalid scenario so we just like cross this out and this one right here it's valid so we pick like two from the from stack three and this one we pick zero so this is okay and this one this is okay this is okay but uh, so for example like let's take a look at like one of the example like uh, this example right here this one, this line, so uh, this line, right? So for 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 this line in particular, 
we pick what? So we pick zero from start. Uh, we, we 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 pick zero from us. Uh, uh, let's see. Yes, we we pick zero from our uh, stack one. So we have zero, and then we pick uh, one from stack two. So since we pick one from stack two, it means that right here we need to add fifteen. So it's plus fifteen, and then at the end we pick two from stack three. So we need to pick uh, this two up here. So it's uh, 30. So like for this problem in particular, uh, it's it's better if we find the cumulative of the the value because like in this case, we should have something like 80, 160, 15, and um, 65, and then 20 and 30. Because uh like for Exam this example, we also need to pick uh, two stacks from, I mean two plates from stack 3, so we need to uh, calculate this volume. And so, like, the goal is like we try to find maximum up here, like on this level, on this level, and then we find, um, and then like, with this and this, like this 3, we find the maximum and pass it like to the top. And the top here, we will compare this maximum and this maximum, and turn it to the top. And so let's take let's take a look at one more example. So if we look at this uh, line, uh, let's see this one. Uh, one. Let's look at this this line. So if we look at this line. So for this line, we pick. Uh, we pick one from uh, stack one and we pick two from uh, stack two. So in that case, we would take 80 plus um, two, so plus 65. So we would get 145 and this is um, 45. So this line gives us like 145. So just like, uh, it's early example when we have like cumulate to sum like here it's easy to calculate it but like if we just use recursion like only recursion it would take forever because uh, like the, the depth of this tree it's going to be a like, uh, so many layer like depending on like the number of stacks that we have and we can see that there are some uh, repetitive works so for example, uh, let's see, for example it's this, right here, oh my bad, right here, two right here, so like for this two there's like three scenario, right? This, this two have three scenario, and this two also have three scenario too. So if we calculate like the volume like down here, we should be able to use it up here as well. So that would be save some time. So we like the next step is we need to apply a dynamic programming on this by like created a lookup table that we only compute uh, this value once and then we can like reduce uh, for the other place. So this is it. Uh, this is like my intuition, like the big um, idea on how like to solve this problem and i hope you guys find this helpful and i will like leave my code uh, uh to the github link uh in the description and feel free like to leave any comment in down below and I'm make sure that i will try to like answer all the questions thank you for watching bye bye